All right, here we are. So, you've completed the game. Your journey has come to an end. Your power has reached its pinnacle. You have obtained your fourth and final class. You are the beater of butts, the berserker. All righty. So, uh, this will be his DPS uh, class. This is the dark path. It's pretty much the same for every character, uh, except for debatably, arguably, uh, Angela. But uh, here we are. All right. So to refresh, there's four tiers of class in the game. You start off at class one, tier one class, the uh, neutral. That is the fighter. Uh, then at level 18, we have... Uh, we change our class again. We have the choice of going either light and going with the knight, or going dark and going with the gladiator. We, of course, went with the gladiator. Uh, then again, at 38, you can change your class for a... Uh, this, this will be your second class change. Again, you're posed with the choice. Do you go with the swordmaster, Elder Frey, or do you go with the duelist? We, of course, stayed true to the dark. And we went with the Duelist, and now here we are, Class 4, the Berserker. It will be one final singular class. Uh, the only difference it, uh, you know, will be the choices that you made for your Tier 3 class, and that's going to determine just how crazy your Berserker is going to be. Alrighty, so new class, new goodies. Let's see what they are. Frenzy. Attack and defense increased by 2% when a normal attack hits. This will stack up to 30%. All right, so uh, this is actually uh, quite good, um, but all of these abilities together is what makes uh, Duran really a pain to, to test. Um, he just has so many fluctuating variable, uh, you know, modifiers, and it's kind of kind of difficult. But you know, that's only if you you know you're you know doing that type of stuff. Uh, this is uh, a great. Uh, great final skill. Um, this is just like Kevin's. The only difference is Duran will increase his defense as well. And uh, Kevin's is, I believe, 3% attack. And uh, Max is at 30%. Whereas we are 2% attack and defense. Um, the defense is quite nice. Uh, especially if you're going to be doing crazy builds. Which uh, we'll get into. All right, so let's look at our uh, final class strike that we get. Again, we do not get any new uh, CS bars. No, n no more gauge. No more meters. Um, we're still at 400%. However, this one will use all of our meter. Uh, this, of course, will do more damage than the ones before it. Um, potentially, maybe Quakebringer under. Mm, Certain situations may out damage Hellion Fury uh, because on larger monsters it it will hit twice uh, at the least. Um, post game, I've seen it hit four times on both of the hits, so eight total. Whereas this will always be one big uh, final Shonen Jump Mega Slash. Um, this is a single target attack. It's a lengthy animation, much like uh, the Clash Strikes on his Light Path that will lock the enemy down for quite some time. Uh, this, of course, means that the enemy is not going to be moving around or casting their spells, and it will allow for your allies to run around and stab them in the back, you know, blast them with uh, ninja fire, that type of thing. All right, so, I mean, it's pretty good. It do, does a lot of damage. It's a single hit, single target only. So it being a single hit um, means that, you know, you could do certain things with it, um, you know, certain certain skills. You know, some skills are, like, for example, Quick Shot with uh, Charlotte on the Dark Path. Um, you do more damage to an enemy at 100% health. This means that it's perfect for this, but not for Quakebringer. Because Quakebringer does two hits, you know, but, or if it's uh, something like um, Hawkeye's uh, CS boost, if you kill an enemy in one hit, 
um, you're gonna get some meter so I mean it's you know just keep that in mind all right let's move on to the skills so as you know uh, two through six these will correlate to your neutral class this is your first class the fighter again we went with the dark path and we uh, picked up sabers attack saber um, the amazing spin slash uh, so that would be 9 through 15 again on uh, tier 3 we went with the duelist and we got wound and rage instead of attack saber 2 and offensive stance that's what the sword master got the elder fray uh, so let's see what we got here well we completed the set we got wound 2 um, the damage is increased so these do stack with each other um, again this um, you know the 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 trade-off that the classes are making again is the sword master gets offensive stance and attack saber and we get wound um, these final three will be the same whether you win uh, th these aren't going to change for each of the each of the each of the trees so it's only 21 through 33 that will change depending on whether you went Swordmaster the Elder Frey or uh, Duelist so the implications of this is when you're using a power attack you're gonna do tons of damage again Duran has that single hit uh, that uh, overhead smash you know that flipping overhead smash just just tons of tons of damage it's the highest damage move in the game because it's just one hit of doom um, you know but at the same time since these two stack it's going to be doing even more damage but also you need to keep in mind is that when he does that he's going to be taking 10% of his health each time so as I showed in uh, the duelist video he can do the same thing now with double wound but at a you know double the pace so it's really really easy for um, the uh, duelist berserker to drop its health low and constantly be triggering uh, uh, low threshold uh, skills that you know require 30 percent and the the benefit of that is that you have you still have that good quality of life as you could keep your allies um, casting items and healing you that type of thing you don't have to micromanage it and you'll just drop your health super super easy really easy so this is the main strength of the duelist berserker um, of course you know the sword master gets gets a different play style but this is the main strength of the duelist is uh, you just you just uh, take in 10% health each hit um, the more you do again you're going to be proccing rage 2 and rage 2 these also stack you're going to get the difference is the rage 1 it's only attack rage 2 if you see same deal but it's now attack and defense um, so you know there you're gonna be proccing rage super quick you're gonna do it by yourself so that's two power attacks there you are 20 percent you're gonna constantly be getting healed you're gonna be you know constantly going back and forth under that threshold uh, 30 percent so it's you know it's uh, it's it's different it's different than the swordmaster but it's um, the swordmaster berserker will be better but you know they they are they are comparable. Um, so this is the strength of these two when you're doubling them up. You're you're getting the uh, thirty percent threshold, uh, you know, quicker, and you are taking your life, uh, you know, a lot quicker. So that's the strength. Again, you want to pick up this last ten points of strength. This will max us out at three o five. The Dragon Master will max out, that is Reese class, the uh, the Dark Light. It will max out at 315. But again, we have the second most powerful weapon in the game. So we're still ahead. Uh, Kevin, of course, has a 172 uh, attack uh, value claw. But, you know, Kevin's Kevin. What do you, you know, what can you say? Crazy kid. All right, so stamina, same deal. Uh, you, I mean, I suppose, you know, recover 30% HP when enemy defeated. This is not a chain skill, 
but you do have the whole set so I mean I don't know I I, I would uh, I wouldn't put them on my bars I suppose you can make some sort of fun build uh, the extra HP and stamina will be quite nice because everything that you do you're gonna be uh, you know you're gonna be hurting yourself so this is the blood magic type of type of deal here uh, so what do we got intelligence well this caters to sabers weak point three um, obviously you can still pop a saber uh, with a uh, with an item so I mean there's still use and it's a 35% uh, increase so I mean you have all these sabers even though uh, the uh, berserker does in fact have sabers of his own um, you also have an attack saber one so I mean there there is some some use here if you're going to uh, play play smart and uh, but you know uh, weak point to all this is uh, good, especially for Angela, uh, even Hawk. Um, but, you know, these aren't chain skills, so you're going to have to put them on your bar. That's fine. You know, you can somewhat do a support, I suppose. Uh, Spirit, what do we get here? Nothing really, you know, too much. I mean, we have 30% when an enemy is defeated. This is a chain skill. So... I mean, if you're going to walk into a pack, let's say, you know, um, if you've been watching these videos, you see that I like to go down there and beat up on our uh, Mega Man rejects. So let's say you walk into there, you drop your Spin Slash or Quake Bringer, you're going to kill all three, you're going to get 90, 90 uh, CS back. So it's per, it's per, ki uh, per kill, not just battle, just like per enemy. So generally, you know, at the most, you're going to see five. It's usually going to be around three to four packs of enemies that you're going to run into. So, I mean, there could be some use on it if you don't yet have the uh, OP skills. But if you are on your Berserker, you will have Cactus Soul. So that's, what, 200, 200 meter? So, all right. Now we get some of the good stuff uh, that just... Uh... So, in a sense, the Berserker gets four main things that's going to increase its power. Uh, wound 2 and Rage 2 and Flourish and Concentrate. So this is quite nice. I mean, all you have to do is just read the skill. Uh, crit Chance increased by 40%. Love it. It's awesome. Uh, you're always going to be using this. Uh, this is a great skill too. Concentrate 2. This increases uh, crit damage by 40%. No, no. The Flourish increases crit damage by 40 and this increases crit chance by 40%. So, Flourish and Flourish 2, you're always going to want to keep these on your bar. Now we start to run into some of the issues with the Berserker. And uh, let's go ahead and show that. So, we have all these slots to work with. But, you know, you look over here and you see we only have 305 strength. So, Duran's pretty weak. Kevin has, uh, he's around 350, 360 maybe. So he has a lot more attack, a lot more strength, you know. So what's the deal? Uh, I thought I thought Duran is supposed to be, uh, you know, have the uh, big boy damage. Well, the thing with Duran is that he is very, um, he has so many good skills, and they're just they're like a must. They they really are a must, and he really doesn't have a lot of wiggle room. Um, so this is how I like to place them. Uh, yeah. And then, so this would be the loadout. It would be Flourish and Flourish 2. And so you really only have one slot to work with here. Um, just, well, we'll just keep it to him for now. So. Uh, going over the move set, you don't get anything new. Everything is maxed with your third tier class. All we get is new abilities, new class passives, and a new class strike. So let's go pick on our pals down here. I will show you his uh, tier four strike. 
Look at this. There we are. Slash! Look at that. Huge damage. So we're at 21. So huge damage. And if you notice, since we are the Gladiator, I mean the Duelist, we do get a, a hard attack buff increase. So let's see if I can just kill. So look, he's already dead. Now let's try it again. Let's see. So he just does crazy damage. All of his abilities just... So there we are. So with the crit, would have doubled that. So he, he gets a lot of abilities. This is where his strength lies. It's not in raw, raw uh, statistical advantage, such as Kevin or Reese on the Dragon Master. Even then, Reese is only 10, 10 strength ahead, but she loses uh, like 15 points on the weapon. Um, but this, again, is the problem with the Berserker. You're not going to have a lot of free space. Um, it's just crazy. Let's go ahead. Quake Bringer brings a tear to my eye. I mean, it's still... Yeah. Well, that was kind of pathetic. Um, all right, so what I want to show. Well, this would be the standard end endgame build for Duran here. Uh, now let's do some stuff with uh, wound. So as you can see, we just we went uh, 12, 1200 the crit, and we're and we're hurting ourselves each time. Look at that, 17. That's because our damage is going up because uh, not only are we killing things, we are also proccing our rage one and two. And Let's just see how, how low I can drop the... Uh, do I have items on? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to go over here, and we're going to deliberately try to miss. So look. So I'm below. Then they heal me. So, I mean, at the very least, you, you have a good... You know, you can just do this. Um, another thing to note is that the... Uh, frenzy, you do need to do normal attacks. This is a good thing. Uh, again, because we are one, two, three, four, and mega death. So uh, Kevin would still be mashing his. Uh, don't you just love that? I, I mean, all right, Kevin would still be mashing his his fists right here. Meanwhile, Duran's back into the combo. Look at that, 58. And. Now that he's killed, we're going to do even more damage. It's just... Look at that. 31. And so we're low. And they'll heal us, but we'll be under that 30 threshold that we can, you know, maybe... Uh, drop a... Uh, drop a super. That's what we wanted to do. Again, you still have the Gladiator playstyle. Everything is just enhanced on the Berserker. Uh, at the cost of pretty... Wow. That was uh, one heck of a close-up. Uh... At the cost of using a lot of his abilities. So, if you were going to take stuff off, uh, off, you know, again, you can do attack help. You got conflagration. Do some attackers. You can do instinct bomb. It, it, it's really up to you. It's not as easy as the paladin is. The paladin can just not have to worry about nothing because he doesn't get any really uh, crazy skills. But you're really going to want to have these on. I mean, I mean, I suppose you could drop Concentrate because uh, in battle you do have Wolf Fiend Oil and this will increase your crit. So, I mean, if you want to save slots there. Um, look at that. It's destroyed. Look at that. So, I mean, if you... Uh, I mean, so basically, uh, Endgame Berserker revolves around... Uh, just load out, managing your loadout, mixing and matching what what feels best for you. I mean, I suppose you can drop that, and then you can put, uh, you know, let's do attacker one, two, uh, attacker two, and we'll do this. Here we are, we're at 585. I mean, there's there's a lot of wiggle room.
you also need to keep in mind that um, uh, you need to keep in mind that wound does not affect uh, claw strikes or normal attacks. This only affects power attacks. So you really want wound if you're going to be doing your one, two, three, four, and just chunking them. That's where your just psycho damage is going to come from. But you know, if you didn't want to use charge, then you know you have these two to work with, and maybe you'd go uh, rage one, and maybe counter, um, or you can go uh, just put on conflagration, or you know attack help. You know it's really up to you. Do attack saber. Let's just do attack saber, and uh, let's do dark saber, just because. There we are. Thank you. So, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of wiggle room to do. Um, the Duelist Berserker probably, I mean, the Swordmaster Berserker is the most powerful melee class in the game. It is more powerful than Kevin, Fatal Fist, Annihilator. Uh, the Duelist, mm, pro I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Again, Kevin, uh, Dark Kevin Annihilator, he has the payback skills. So you have all three paybacks, you have Final Blow, and you're just uh, dropping your Kamehameha, and you're just wrecking the screen. Um, he has the single target, so it's... He's, I mean, he's still kind of, uh, he, he's definitely incredibly versatile when it comes to, to, uh, you know, slotting him out, building him up, but, God, I've been rambling on, I gotta stop, alright, so, I'll see you guys again, take care now.